Okay, so many of you, you're like me, and this thing really grabs your attention. There's only one question that's really important, and that is how does it shoot? Let's find out. I'm Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Many of you are just like me, and something different is always eye-catching and intriguing, especially something with two barrels. Uh, that's different. Grabs our attention. So what we have here is the Thunderstruck 22 Win Mag Revolver by Standard Manufacturing. What is this thing? It, it's a revolver with this funky trigger and two barrels. You know what? Let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech and see what this is on paper. Okay, so that really doesn't tell us much that we couldn't already figure out just by looking at the pictures. Let's put some ammo in it and try it. Okay, so when you look at this, at the specs and tech, and that barrel, and, and what it is, this is obviously a close quarters, self-defense gun, and that's what it's intended for. So, what is the statistical average of engagements for self-defense? It's actually 6 to 10 feet, okay? To me, this seems incredibly close. I'm actually about... 13 feet here. Most law enforcement engagements are nine feet, three meters, or three yards and under. So I guess my reasoning is if we can put all shots on there quick and easy, then it at least passes the intended purpose. Okay, so I'm about 10 feet here. Let's see what we can get. I got a few holes in there. Wow, okay. It goes way high. Okay, as we're pulling that trigger, it's doing that. And I'm gonna try not to do it. Why it just I guess here's one thing. Aim about eight inches low. Let's try that. I really don't like aiming low or high. I think when you get a firearm, you should be able to use the sights and aim. Now I'm gonna drop down about six inches. Okay, so now I'm also having problems getting these to come out. Not wanting to come out of there. Might have to give a... <clears throat> yeah, that's... It's not adding to my like. There we go. Okay. Hey guys, if you like this review, if you follow my channel and you want to keep the reviews coming, YouTube is pretty much demonetizing almost everything related to firearms. What supports Beyond Seclusion is using my links to shop. Shop as if you always do. It costs you absolutely nothing. You go to Amazon, you go to PSA, Primary Arms, any of these. If you simply go in through my links and get what you are normally going to get, that supports Beyond Seclusion. I got a link down here that shows you how to do that quick and easy. Guys, I couldn't do it without your support. Thank you. Okay, so I'm back about 10 feet. <laughs> and this is totally keyholing. Okay. I mean, look at that keyhole. 
totally keyholey it in like nine feet okay uh <laughs> look at that one so no these were shots i was out uh, actually i was shooting the 223 from the deck so all those nice little tight holes that's my 223 all of these are from that and i was aiming here guys not real exciting for me okay then these two shots here, I was aiming down here. So then over here, I aimed down here, and I actually got a few up here, and then they still had high and right. Now, I had some friends over the other day, and they had one, and they were shooting it, and the exact same thing, both of them high and right. Okay, so those of you who follow my channel, you know I'm, I'm a pretty decent shot, and pretty much always with pistols, I like to try them out at 50 and 100 yards. <laughs> I'm not going to even waste my ammo on this. I think it's pushing it at 15. We're going to try about 15 or 20 feet, which is not going to be able to be fast. And then I'm going to try the, the more appropriate self-defense distance, about 9 feet, and see how fast I can pull the trigger and if I can hit the steel. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, you know, that's not a bad sight picture, Drew. Um, and it wouldn't be if I could actually pull the trigger and have it not move around. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna cheat here, and I'm not actually going to aim at the chest because once I start pulling, I'm going to miss. So knowing this and firing almost a box now, I'm going to aim just a little bit lower. We're going to try claims eight shots in three seconds. Okay, at that distance, I would say it's adequate. I don't think I'd give it a thumbs up. It's just, you know, it just really doesn't trip my trigger. Okay, so I'm actually about 25 feet here. For me, that's pretty short distance. I should have no problem hitting it. Let's just see. And, you know, man, that's just awkward for me, guys. It's an awkward grip, and I got small hands. Okay, so there you go. We fired a whole box through this thing. What's my final take? Um, you know, it's a revolver. It's simple. It nine feet, which to me is point blank. I can hit steel. <laughs> I should be able to shoot a nice small circle at this distance. Accuracy, in my opinion, on this is very poor at best. It's going to be about six inches high at about 10 feet. I got to have two fingers on the trigger. The shells are sticking. I'm not going to have a fast reload, but I'm guessing most people are thinking they're not going to need to. It's 22 mag. You know what I'd like to see is them to do the same thing in the 22 and fix this trigger. If they could do this in a 22 long rifle, put this baby on a diet and fix this trigger, then you'd have some. Then you'd have something that I'd be interested in. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to recommend it. You decide for yourself what you think. They are, they're always in stock, and you can get a hold of them. Hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Till next time, happy shooting, be safe, and happy new year.